Let's talk about how we can integrate cosine of square root of x. We have a square root of x instead of cosine. This question seems impossible, right? It is kind of impossible in the x world. However, once we take this integral and change that into the u world, we have a better chance. Let me show you how. I'm going to let u be the inside function, which is square root of x, and let's differentiate both sides. We get du equals to 1 over 2 square root of x dx. And then I need to isolate the dx, so let's multiply both sides by the 2 square root of x. In another word, dx will be 2 square root of x du. But then notice that we have a square root of x right here. This is the same as u. So I can look at the, this equation as dx equals to 2u du. And we are ready to go. Let's take this integral into the u world. We have the integral cosine, and then square root of x, we set that to be u. So we have the integral cosine u. And the dx is the same as 2 du. 2u du. So I just replace 2u du for dx. And this is what we have. We have the 2 right here, so we can take the 2 on the very outside. But then this is the u. I can bring the u to be in front of the cosine. I cannot take the u to the very outside, OK? Because u is a variable. And notice, this is 2 integral u cosine u du. This integral is much more doable because we can use integration by parts. And let me just show you with the di method on the side. So for the di method, I'm going to differentiate the u, and I'm going to integrate the cosine u. Let's get to work. But don't forget the plus minus on the side. So differentiating u is give you 1. And then when you take the derivative 1, it gives you 0. Integrate cosine u, it will first give you sine u. And then integrate this again, it will give you negative cosine u. And we're done, pretty much. Anyways, this integral will give you the product of the diagonals, which is u times sine u. And that's right here. And the second diagonal is negative 1 times negative cosine u, which that will be positive cosine u. And remember, we have a 2 in the very front. And technically, it's a parentheses because this whole thing represents that integral. So don't forget to distribute the 2 into the parentheses. And then we can also change the u back to square root of x. Final answer, we have 2 times that, which is 2 square root of x sine of square root of x. And then 2 times that, so we have plus 2 cosine. The u becomes square root of x. And we are done. So we just put plus c at the end. And this right here is the answer. That's it.